I'm Dominic Stevens. It's been fairly quiet on the data front this week, although on Thursday we did get another look at monthly business confidence, which rose fairly sharply and is now towards the top end of its usual range. So businesses are feeling reasonably upbeat about their prospects for the next three months at least. Encouragingly, there's a bit more confidence around the construction industry at the moment, so perhaps some of those concerns about delays to the Canterbury rebuild are starting to fade. However, for us and for the Reserve Bank, what this serves as is confirmation that GDP growth has, is accelerating in early 2012, and it won't be changing anyone's forecasts. Now back on Monday we released our quarterly regional confidence survey. We asked consumers all around the country how they feel about their local region. It actually dropped a bit across the whole country. We did find that there were big divergences. So Northland, Bay of Plenty and Wellington are feeling particularly downbeat while Waikato and Southland are the most confident parts of New Zealand. Also during the week we released a bit of research on the housing market where we reiterated that Rising prices in Auckland and Canterbury really appear to be due to local housing shortages. What that means is the rest of New Zealand's not necessarily going to follow with the same types or rates of increase as the two big regions have, have experienced over the past year. We do think though that low interest rates are stimulating the wider market to some extent and on that basis we're forecasting 5% house price growth for 2012 averaged across New Zealand. Now regular watchers will know that I doubt interest rates can stay these, this low forever. I think they're actually going to rise and if that's right what may happen is that it could well constrain the housing market in years to come. What you might actually find is that house prices fall again in the out years 2014 and 15 or at least that's what we're forecasting. Talk to you next week.